Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvin, and we continue along with our dynamic sketching exercises with a three-quarter view of a tall car. So let's uh, get started. All right, I'm going to start off with my ellipses here. I'm just going to establish where my ellipses are going to be for the front and the uh, rear portion of the vehicle. Just going to be adding where I approximately think the placement is going to be for the wheel that's going to be on the driver's side. I'm going to draw my uh, my uh, uh, the bottom of the car. You know, sometimes when I'm sketching these stuff out, I'm not. I don't really plan. I don't really have anything in particular with what it is that I want to do or a, a form idea. Essentially I'm doing this just out of uh, just some practice. And I'll be doing a little bit of adjusting here, just bring that wheel out a little bit more. And then we just want to create some sort of a shape. Something that we can define at the uh, where the grill is going to be. Take that and stretch my lines out. Just like you've seen in previous examples, what I'm doing here is uh, I, I extend out all my lines, intersect them, gives it a little bit more movement. That's why it uh, gives it that dynamic uh, uh, sketch look to it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to identify where the door line is going to be. I'm going to make sure that this is going to be a four-door. Now, tall cars, what, what a tall car typically means are, are uh, pretty much the same thing as a crossover vehicle. They're not quite the large SUV types, but they're kind of in between a car and an SUV. People uh, tend to really like those crossovers because they're not as large and bulky. They don't uh, take up as much gas. Uh, sometimes that is but more importantly people just like to be able to take an SUV and drive it like a car so that's why you've got that that portion of the market that's been growing is because you're, you're now getting a, a really nice utilitarian vehicle that you can use uh, haul your kids around and, and put the soccer balls in the back and all that stuff but uh, you don't have to deal with the overall mass with how large your vehicle is. <laughs> when I started to sketch this thing out, I was just thinking of some of the lines that I liked were in the Taurus. The Ford Taurus is a really uh, pretty sharp design. Done a really nice job with that thing, especially the uh, the newer version. I gotta say that Ford's really <laughs> kicking some major butt here. I've really enjoyed uh, their styling and what they've been coming up with so far and I think they've got a really nice strong brand identity that they were struggling with way back I think in the early 2000 time frame. Same with GM. Alright, uh, we're gonna speed it up here. Overall, I think the sketch took about 16 minutes. We're condensing this time to about uh, 10 minutes. You saw I, I was able to kind of finish up the overall profile of what the car was going to look like or, or the overall shape. And now all I'm doing is speeding up the video. It is time lapsed. It's, uh, I think, about two and a half times faster than normal speed than what you were seeing uh, before on the first four minutes of the video. But now that we got most of it established, we can just kind of uh, keep moving along here. Alright, so I'm just identifying where my headlamps are going to be. There's a little bit of the shoulder of the car here in the rear.
And one one thing to really take note and to consider as you're as you're working on this, on, on sketching cars is, is try to uh, find a, a purpose for where the lines need to go. So here, when you see me extending that out, it's really an extension. So I may have this uh, slight protrusion of the surface that you see that's coming on the side of the vehicle. But if you see, I've extended that out so that it could possibly serve as uh, the connection, uh, the connecting line to the uh, fog lamp here. Or whatever. I, I'm not even trying to complete the whole thing. We're just trying to be very loose with the with the sketch in general bear in mind that as we go through these videos I think what I want people to have uh, as a strong takeaway is whatever I do here uh, even though I might be doing it with digital tools just bear in mind that the, the correct way to go about doing these exercises to make sure you're doing them on paper. You see that? I'm going to darken my lines up a little bit. Just accentuating the shape of the headlamp. And I'm going to start to darken my ellipses up a little bit. define where that tire is going to be just defining that tire a little bit just gonna get the inner spoke I'm sorry the 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 hub just gonna add some spokes here a five spoke nothing uh, nothing too fancy nothing too crazy we'll put that in the rear <coughs> looks like I need to get some water here <laughs> all right so now we're indicating the spokes getting a little bit of detail action there not nothing great then we're gonna to start to hatch and just define the the shapes here a little bit okay now I'm just adding uh, just some more sketch lines here just drawn in the reflection that reflection uh, the the darker portion of it is what you'd see uh, of, of any kind of detail around the environment that's reflected off of that glass. Now these are, are just a lot of fun to, to experiment in and just try. What, what's going to end up happening or what I usually do is that I may go through an initial pass uh, and then I may do an overlay. I'll take this sketch in particular and then I'll just start to uh, overlay on top of this, maybe reduce the opacity level and sketch on top of it. If you're doing it with uh, a pencil, then you would take some tracing paper or vellum, go over your initial sketch and then correct any mistakes or even improve upon it if you want. Maybe improve upon the design. There might be some unresolved surfaces or or some details that you may want to uh, enhance or or make a make it look a little bit better so I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll see you here next time on jubemavens.com